said, yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Amber. This is Amber's Live. We got a new video for you today. We got Milwaukee Bucks trades, rumors, and news live edition. But before we get into it, y'all know the spiel. Comment, like, subscribe, and share this electrifying content with the people. <laughs> so I did a little intro. Uh, oh, before we even get into it, salute to Bucks Nation. Best shout out YouTube. Shout out, shout out to y'all. So today's topic, just like you saw in the thumbnail, is uh, is John Horse in the hot seat? That's going to be today's topic, uh, along with a few other things we'll discuss, like the the loss of uh, Wes Matthews, the impact on the roster, and are you concerned with our lack of draft capital if this is our roster going into the regular season and not making any moves? Is this roster good enough to win a championship? Yes, I know injuries hurt us last year. Yes, I know coaching hurt us uh, last year as well. But with this roster, seeing all the other moves that have been meet, made in the NBA and things that are still going to happen in the East, is this roster sufficient enough to win a championship? I know this team is good enough to get in the playoffs, probably get out first, second round. But is this roster in its current format sufficient enough to make the finals? That's what we're trying to talk about. And what we need to focus on is the shooting guard position and the point guard position because I think those are our Achilles heels. Those those are really our I would say our weakest point is a point guard position, shooting guard position. I also no disrespect to Robin Lopez. I'm also concerned about our backup center. I'm just being real. I'm, I'm just being real. I don't know how much Robin has left in the tank. I I, I just don't know. So I'm going to throw center there as well as a as a, a point of concern. So looking at our team, right, we have shooting guard. Shooting guard as a, as a position is a dynamic position where the, this person should be able to score at a high clip, create their own shot, be a more a, an offensive-minded player. You know what I'm saying? That's usually what a shooting guard is. What we have is nothing like that. <laughs> we don't have anybody explosive at the shooting guard position. And I do believe that that is a problem that needs to be addressed. And I don't think it can be addressed with Grayson Allen, Pat Connaughton, and maybe not Bochamp. I think we really need to get a true shooting guard. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section because I don't think that Pat Connaughton is a starting caliber point uh, shooting guard, nor do I think that uh, Grayson Allen is a starting caliber shooting guard. No way. Absolutely not. Now, if you say coming off the bench, Grayson, I can dig that. But as a starter, no, sir. Even at the point guard position, we need a legit backup point guard. I know that uh, I'm, I'm pretty high on Wigington, but again, that's an undersized uh, guard. Somebody perfect that would have fit that we discussed it would have been like a, a Dennis Schroeder. He would have been the perfect fit as a backup point guard, fit on this team nicely. That is the type of point guard that I would like. Or if we're going to get Colin Sexton or something, somebody like that. We need a legit backup point guard. Or a starting point guard where we can move Drew to the two. And then that would solidify us at the uh, shooting guard position. Because I think that Drew is more capable as, as a scorer versus a facilitator. I don't really think being a facilitator is his strong suit. My personal opinion, y'all let me know in the comments section. So that's just kind of the kind of how I feel. I really think that shooting guard position, we got to figure that out. If we got to bundle some people for for this 2029 uh, first rounder, whatever. We need a real score at shooting guard, period. We need a score. And we need somebody sufficient as a backup point guard. No disrespect to Wigington, but he should be like the third dude. You know what I'm saying? The second dude is a little sketch. Him being second... I'm I'm a little nervous about that. I, I I don't feel confident. I don't feel confident at all. Just like I don't feel that confident about uh Robin Lopez being our backup uh, center. I'm not that confident. I'm okay with it because we need a backup center, but I'm not confident in it. You know what I'm saying? So these these are just the things that I want to discuss. Also, uh. Okay, so Horse made the, the the move, right, to get Drew Holiday and the four first-rounders to get Crowder. What I also forgot is that he gave up a whole bunch of picks when we got Nikolai Meritich. Do y'all remember that? Somebody brought that in the comment section. I completely forgot about that. We gave up a ton of second-rounders uh, 
for a Miritich as well, and then he ended up going overseas. Y'all remember that? Can I get a thumbs up if y'all remember that whole little that whole little thing with uh, Miritich? And if y'all don't remember Miritich, that was a dude that got stolen on by Bobby P. If I remember correctly, y'all correct me in the comment section. So I. These are just things I want to discuss. Like I said, it's hard to say that Horst did anything wrong that it, because it led to a championship. And that's the thing. He did what he needed to do to get us to the championship. But now the question is, did he give up too much as far as draft capital? Did he give up too much? That's what. That's the thing. Was it necessary to give four first rounders to get Drew Holiday already over, already 30? Was it necessary to get four first round picks? Did, did Phoenix really need to get five second round picks? These are just the questions I'm asking. I'm not saying right or wrong. I'm just saying that seems like a, a, a lot to me. Again, I'm not a GM. I'm just on the outside looking in as, as uh, Bucks Nation is. But that just seems like a pretty hefty uh, tag to me. So that that's all I'm saying. Like Again, I'm just putting things out here. We're going we gonna to discuss it. Uh, please share please share the live stream. Also, please hit that like button when y'all come in here. It's absolutely free, and it helps the channel. Shout out to the uh, chat. So uh, first person in the chat, Jimmy Roller. What's good, Jimmy Roller? Yana's better be on the phone with Dame. I wish that was the case, but Dame seems steadfast on going to Miami, so let him go there. I I'm done with the Dame stuff. Until I hear that he coming here, it's whatever. I, I can't focus on Dame. That's just like... I don't know, man. It, I, I just that's just dead to me for the most part. Nabel, what's good? What up? And yes, he's on the hot seat. Only if we don't win another championship, it depends. Okay, so are you giving are you giving uh horse one more year then, Nabel? Give some Nicholas straight out of the Bahamas. What's good, bro? Love the Bucks team to the fullest. Me too. I'm just like, do you love them enough to say they can go to the championship? That's the question. My boy Bucks number one in the chat. What's up? What up? What up? What up? Scorching Gamer in the house. Yo, what's good, Bucks Nation? What up, Scorching Gamer? Good you in here. My boy Big Ken 87 said, yo, yo. Hey, Big Ken, what's on the grill today, sir? What's on the grill, sir? Nabel said, uh, Giannis need another playmaker also like Dame or Paul George. I agree he needs one. And again, I'm not saying that Middleton isn't sufficient or Drew, but those are those are third option players acting like second option players. I just want Giannis to have a second option player as well. Paul George is my ideal second option type of player. Paul George is like the blueprint. Chris B said, hell yeah, he on the hot seat. I feel like he gotta be a little bit. You I mean, we we were just we just won a championship and then we regressed significantly over two years yes you can say injuries and all that regardless of what happens people are still going to get older injuries are going to happen we just need to get younger and we need to get some explosion on this team like besides Giannis okay how about this y'all besides Giannis who else is explosive on that team Celtics Tatum is explosive Jalen Brown is explosive then you add Kristaps. He got some explosion to him, right? People that can run off a, a certain amount of points just by themselves. Well, I, I would like to say tier one players can go on personal runs. Let me just get clarification so y'all know what I'm talking about. So a tier one player to me is considered a player that can consistently go on a personal run. What do I mean by that? Like somebody like Giannis can run off 10 or 12 straight points by himself. Elite player. Steph Curry can run off 12, 15 points by himself. Elite player. Kawhi Leonard. LeBron. These are the type of... I hated I just said that. But, uh, yeah, so those type of players are tier one. And then underneath that, you got players like Paul George that can do that in, in sporadically. But they're more comfortable not being the guy. You know what I'm saying? Who else would be like Jamal Murray is a tier two player. Uh... Anthony Davis is a tier two, borderline tier one player. Giannis doesn't have that with him, and I think that's what he needs is that tier two player. I consider Drew Holiday and, and Chris Middleton as top tier three players. And what? why are they tier three? Because they can't give it to you consistently. Giannis 
if he's playing and he's healthy, it's 30 and 10 no matter what. And B, it's 30 and 10 if he's healthy no matter what. I just want that kind of like mid-range consistency out of our second option. Like I said, 20 points a game is cool. But if you're telling me you are second option, I'm telling you got to get close to 25. That's just how I feel, y'all. Y'all can let me know in the comments section, but that's how I'm feeling. Scorching Gamer said, listen, 23-24, I'm going to have my pitchforks for the Fire John Horse campaign. <laughs> Shout out to Scorching Gamer. <laughs> Pressure 12. What up, A? What up, bro? I believe we should keep Taco Fall as second or third center. He's good on his free throws, and he uh, gets uh, three points the old-fashioned way. No, no, no. We've been saying that, uh, Fletcher. We've been saying that we should sign Taco Fall, even if it's just to the G League. But we should work with Taco Fall. He's like a more improved, he's like an improved version of me of Thon Maker. He's like a better version of Thon Maker. If y'all remember Thon Maker, that was like 25 playing high school basketball. Shout out to him. <laughs> Shout out to Thumb Maker. Uh, Scorching Gamer said, nah, we have traded all that draft capital over the years, but this is all we have to show for it. Nah, we talking about 2028 and 2029. For, that's what I'm saying. I like what the players that we got, but did we have to give up that much is my question. Chris B, Edmund Subner could be a nice little, yeah, he could. If he goes to the Heat, he might have a breakout season. Yep. You know what? I know yeah, I know this dude. Yeah, he is solid. Chris B, shout out. You're right. Shout out. Okay, Mr. Cool in the house. Shout out, Mr. Cool. Haircut regulator, my God. Bucks will win the NBA championship this season. They have a chip on their shoulder. That would be awesome. I'm just saying if we're looking at talent. I would want more talent on this team, Mr. Cool. I'm not saying that that can't happen, but I'm saying the road will be easier with more talent. A Norman Powell type of player in the mix. Colin Sexton type of player in the mix. With those type of players in the mix, it will make things a lot easier. That's just my opinion. And do y'all care that Wes Matthews went to Atlanta? Do you guys think that has any negative impact on the Bucks? us losing Wes Matthews? I don't really see a problem with it. I don't think he was giving us a ton of minutes. He's kind of veteran in the locker room, and I appreciate what he's done. But I think that uh, Beasley's pretty much his younger replacement. This is saying that does pretty much the same thing. But uh, it was sad to kind of see Wes Matthews go just because of his ties to the city and whatnot. But I think it was uh, the the best move though, and then that opens up a roster spot for the Bucks. Maybe we can pick up somebody. So I, I think it's uh, addition by subtraction. Matt Brown was good. Horse, just get us another playmaker. This current roster is very sketchy. That's all I'm saying, bro. I'm not saying the roster is bad. I'm not saying nothing like that. I'm just saying as far as being a champion, is this a championship caliber a roster? I don't know. I don't feel like we have enough creators. I just don't, or, or just a, a real scores. I know more than you was good. Marjan is him. We'll be all right. Gortman, Jackson, Livington, and potentially Sexton. We Gucci, bro. Giannis need to sit out that Greek thing and, and, and get healthy, man. Yeah, agree. Agree with the Giannis need to get healthy. But Gortman and those young guys, I'm going to put that back up here. Hold on. Gortman, uh, Jackson, Livingston, they all going to need like playing time in an actual season before we see what they really are. You know what I'm saying? Like, the speed of the game is going to be different from summer league to the regular NBA. And I think it's going to take them time to adjust, especially getting uh, uh, regular minutes, even with Bochamp. Bochamp didn't play a ton last year. So if they're getting significant minutes, they're going to make mistakes. They're going to have to figure it out. So I, I think it's going to take a little time for the young guys to get into the groove. But I do feel like they will be uh, in, in, they will be impactful on the roster. Y'all feel me? I, I, I agree. <laughs> Scorching Gamer, should the Bucks be more cutthroat with their roster? Bro, I don't want to say cutthroat, but we need to understand that we kind of got to go all in whenever we can because we got Giannis. That's a generational talent. And like I've said before, I do not want Giannis going out like Aaron Rodgers 
where you're putting up historic heroic seasons and then your team your team lets you down because either you don't they don't have enough talent or they just choke. I just don't want to see Giannis do that have all these accomplishments, all these MVPs, all this and that and then only have one championship. I, I feel that would be a disservice to a player of Giannis's uh, stature. You know what I'm saying? That's what I I don't I just don't want him to go out like like how the Packers did a Rod. I don't want the Bucks to do to do Giannis like that. He deserved better. He he let it all hang out on the floor. If that means you got to shake up this roster or be cutthroat as was said, I think that's what needs to be done. Sometimes you got to do make the difficult decision to to try to win a chip. The Celtics made a difficult decision. Let them go. Marcus Smart, one of their leaders, defensive stalwart. Grant Williams is gone. Uh. They 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 let Brogdon go. I mean, and they, this was a team that just uh, was in the finals and in the Easter Conference Finals. If they're willing to to do that, why? What? What? How arrogant are we not to think that we need to make moves? We ain't won nothing in a couple years. So how arrogant is our organization to think we in the position where we can just uh, hold this roster cool and win another championship? You've got to be. You got to go all in. You got to put them joints on the table. Say hey, this is just what it is. We going for it, and just go for it, man. I know. I know more than you said. Try to tell y'all, Robin was a bad move. Robin was part of the Brook deal. If we did not sign Robin, we would not get Brook. So that that's why that ha- uh That's why that happened. Gibson Nicholas said it will hurt me so badly the Bucks don't win a championship in 2024. It'll hurt. Looking at the Heat game, boy, we should have beat uh, the Heat in the playoffs. All that, all that compounded, Gibson, is why, why I'm saying what I'm saying. Exactly. That's why we need to make moves, man. We got to be... If that means moving Drew or Chris, move one of them. We've got the, we've got our fill. We move one of them if we have to. If it means we're going to get somebody back explosive, that's on the Dame level or on the superstar level or or fringe superstar level. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're not getting any. Drew's not getting younger. Giannis isn't getting younger. Middleton isn't getting younger. What can we do to put this team back in championship contention? Is what horse needs to be focused on. Period. Mr. Smith was good. I think with the right pieces, you don't need a, a second top tier player. It's all about chemistry and culture. Agreed, but you still need talent, Mr. Smith. You still need talent, though, bro. And what I'm saying is, is at shooting guard, uh, at uh, point backup point, these are these are important positions on your basketball team. And you, I bet you can't tell me who's our starting shooting guard or who it should be. And you feel confident that they can get you 15 points a game. That's the problem. Your shooting guard should be at least able to get you 15 a game. At least. That's his job. Shooting guard. <laughs> Milwaukee Black said, it looks like the Bucks are looking at three players. Bogdanovich, uh, Detroit, Colin Sexton, Utah, Markel Fultz, uh, Orlando. Who do you think is best? I would say the most upside is Colin Sexton. The safest is Bogdanovich. Oh, shout out to Mr. Cool. I'm willing to pray for Colin Sexton carrying off. That is a great, that's great to hear, Mr. Cool. That's great to hear, sir. <laughs> Colin Sexton would be an impactful player, y'all. Colin Sexton would definitely be impactful. Giannis Antetokounmpo in the chat. I'm going to pass out if I see our players disappear in the playoff. <laughs> oh, me too, bro. Me too. Hey, hey Giannis, hey, you're going to have to stop. Hey, bro, hey, this ain't about friends, bro. This is about winning. We're gonna, we gonna have to get, we might have to get one of your boys up out of here. Middleton, Drew, we might have to pack it somebody, bring you back somebody that can get you 25 plus, sir. You let us know what you think about it in the comments section. Uh, Milwaukee Black, 
uh, laughing out loud, hair and all. I also like Sexton the best because he's a two-way player. Thank you. That And we're going to go in all in. Let's get Colin Sexton. Gibson Nicholas said, I just hear uh, Adrian Gr Griffin, grandson, pass away today. Damn, that's unfortunate. R.I.P. Our condolences to Adrian Griffin. Man, that's unfortunate. Uh, Brevin Teeter said, pretty sad when horse best draft pick is Dante DiVincenzo. That's true previously until this year. I do think Andre Jackson Jr. and Cliff Livingston will be better than Dante DiVincenzo. But previously, you're right. That is that is fair. That's a fair statement, Brevin. Fair statement. Uh, Mr. Cool said, both the Bucks and Celtics co uh, coaches were outcoached by Spolster in the playoffs. That's valid. Absolutely. Fair point. Brevin Teeter said, Horse is definitely on the hot. I feel he is. I feel if this is if he doesn't do something this year, he's gone. Period. He's gone. Giannis uh, s uh said we need to go for a B. But then well, so if we get a B, Giannis, that's gonna make the paint kind of clog because MB should be in the paint and you like being in the paint. So how would that work? You let me know how that would work, Giannis, you and MB together. I like the twin towers, but who gonna who's gonna be the jump shooter? You gonna make MB go outside and shoot threes like Brooke? I think he'd be way more effective in the post than you playing off the ball. But you you let me know in the comment section. Matt Brown said Bucks will probably have to do a three four team trade to shake it up. I can see a point guard and Giannis combo. Yeah, I wouldn't be mad at that. I wouldn't be mad at that at all. Make sure y'all hit the like button when y'all come in here, please. Much appreciated. Shout out to the chat. Uh, Giannis said, I need that Embiid and Giannis duo. Okay. Okay, so you say y'all be like Timmy and David? Okay, I can see that. Or like AD and, uh, and DeMarcus Cousins when they was in New Orleans. Uh, Brevin Teeter said, Robin is a quality move, decent backup center. I don't think we had a, a ton of options, but I wish it'd be somebody a little bit more athletic that can get up and down the floor. Uh, Brevin Teeter said, let's be honest, uh, Buck's biggest problem last year was coaching. Yes, and help. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> He's really down straight out of Puerto Rico. What's good, bro? What is good? What up, bro? I said, yo. I said, yo. Shout out to Puerto Rico, sir. Shout out. Shout out. My boy Humiladon made it in the chat. Shout out to Humiladon. Uh, Mr. Cool said, I met Horse once. I can't get on him. Hey, man, it ain't no friends in this, sir. This is about winning, Mr. Cool. No, you got to get the, the emotional attachment up out of here, sir. Hey. This is about winning. Horse was on the hot seat. He got this season, and then he's out of here. And that's a fact. Okay. I see you, Chris B. Pat Grayson, 2029 first for Colin Sexton and Simone uh, Fantasio. Huh. I think I'm doing that. I think I'm doing that. I think I'm doing that trade. Mr. Smith said, I agree. We haven't had a decent shooting guard a year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's crazy. Or you move Chris uh, Middleton. Ah, you can't move Middleton to the two. Can you move Middleton to the two? Nah, nah you can't do that. I don't think he, I don't think he has athleticism anymore. Uh, Robert Brooks said, we definitely don't have enough creators. Horse needs to get a, a Pat and Grayson out of here in order to make it happen. We are wasting Giannis' good years by surrounding him with mediocre old play. <laughs> you already know, Robert Brooks, what we on. Hey, your name is hilarious and so is your, <laughs> so is your avatar. Glitchy Tomato said, I love the AJJ pick. Has a defensive force and doesn't give up at all. I feel like he's going to be a fan fan. I agree with that. Yep. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Shout out to you. Uh, 7Z said, horse is on the hot seat because he chose to hire Adrian Griffin as a first-time coach. 
No, no, no. I don't feel like it's just that. I feel like we need to win. We've regressed the last two years. Uh, 7Z. We got put out in the, in the second round and the first round. No, he's on the hot seat. Gary Foster said, yes, you can. Shout out to Gary Foster. What's good? Yeah, that's what I was... When I said it, I started thinking that, Brevin Teeter, that Middleton's too slow at the shooting guard. Middleton too slow, period, at this point. But let me chill out before Mr. Cool go in on me. Uh, Mr. Cool said, Horse is a nice fella. He signs good uh, character players. No help, knuckleheads. That's important. Okay, okay, that's fair. That's fair. Mr. Cool understood. But we still need talent. We still need scoring. We still need creators, sir. We need somebody to get... We don't got that. We got people that can catch and shoot. My little brother said something to me the other day, and I started laughing. He was like, how many times have you seen Pat Connaughton dribble? I was like, I have, but not... Like, think about that, y'all. Connaughton is our shooting guard, right? How many times have you really seen him dribble and try to make a move? It's always catch and shoot, or he's stationary shooting a three. I know he's taken it to the hole a few times, but how, I mean, during the season, I really didn't see him dribble. How can your shooting guard not be seen dribbling or or slashing to the hoop? Man, we got to get that dude up. We got to get them up out of here. We, we got to get a real shooting guard. No, 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 no. I'm not going for it. I've given y'all examples. We got to get a real shooting guard, ladies and gentlemen. That I'm not going for. I'm not trying to hear no. In, we need somebody. How is your shooting guard not averaging at least 15? Your whole job is to shoot the basketball. How do you not average 15? Bucks need scoring, you guys. You guys got to knock this off, man. Y'all, y'all living on old bodies. We talking about today, 2023. Not what happened in 2021. That's two years ago. Since then, we've, we didn't got our head cracked in, in the playoffs. Moves need to be made, and we need to be aggressive. We got to be aggressive, y'all. <laughs> Giannis said Middleton robbing back. Man. He robbed the robbed the bucks with no mask. He took the mask up. Give me the money. But we want to negotiate. Give me the money. I'm Giannis's friend. Give me the money. I'm gonna cut y'all some slack, right? I was gonna charge y'all forty million a year, like I was a tier tier one superstar player. But I decided to you know show y'all a little love. Just you know, just give me thirty. I'm gonna cut off five million. Y'all just give me 34, 35. We'll, we'll, we'll say that's a win for both of us, right? Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure thing, Middleton. Sounds like a deal. You're saving us a ton of money. Middleton should be getting 25 million a year, and we should have way more cap space to go out and get somebody. Middleton is not a 35 million dollar a year player, ladies and gentlemen. Let's let let's let's I don't want to hear nothing else about I know playoff Middleton and all that. But he's not a thirty-five million dollar a year player. Let let's be clear. But I feel Brooke has more impact on the game than Middleton does. Let 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 me say that. Gary Foster said Middleton best years were at the two, but that was a younger Middleton before all these random injuries too, though. But yeah, you're you're right though. That is a fact. Giannis said Drew gonna retire, so we should we definitely need to trade him. We need to do something. Uh, Chris B said, high character players that don't move. They need some dog. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm Even Grayson. Grayson can dribble a little bit. He If he takes it to the hole, everybody in the arena start getting up and clapping because it don't happen often. Neither one of our uh, starting shooting guards last year could dribble or create their own shot. That's a Achilles heel. That's, a, that's terrible. How can your shooting guard not create? Y'all gonna think I'm trying to style on these dudes. I'm just trying to give y'all the facts. Ha! Y'all just said get Middleton out of here too. Okay, you do it too much. You do it too much. We can't get rid of both of them, sir. We, I think it's one or the other. 
Brevin Teeter say Pat plays the four a lot. And and that's also weird because he's not a defensive guy and he's undersized. I I know these that was some that was some foolishness under the uh Budenhoser regime. That that he should have never been playing the four. That was crazy. Uh Gibson Nicholas said the Bucks really need a true point guard and a good playmaker. Yes! Yes! That's all I am screaming. Y'all y'all keep wanting me to be okay with this roster, and I'm not going to be okay with this roster. Because I know what these other teams got. We are good enough to get in the playoffs, maybe first, second round. But can we win the Eastern Conference? Can we get to the finals with this roster? With only two or three players that could create their own shot? Come on, y'all. We got we to gotta, we gotta be real. We got to be real. I'm just trying to be real with y'all. I'm not trying to sugarcoat. Y'all watch them other Bucks channels for that, for that, all that kumbaya foolishness. This ain't what it is here. This is just keeping it a hundred percent real, and honesty is always the best policy. Shout out to that statement. <laughs> and when I'm looking at the landscape of the league and seeing moves being made, teams trying to tighten up, all I see is that we got Robin Lopez and, and Malik Beasley. I don't think either one of those moves move the needle for the Bucks. They strengthen our defense. I mean, they strengthen our bench, but they're not. They don't move the needle for the Bucks. We need a player that can move the needle, like Colin Sexton. He can move the needle. We need a move like that. Even Bogdanovich. I like Bogdanovich, but again, that's an over. He's over thirty. And then we're back in that same thing. I don't want to trade and give up all this stuff for somebody that's over 30, respectfully. That's why I'm saying right now, Colin Sexton is our best option at somebody that can move a needle. Y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all agree. But I feel Colin Sexton is our best shot at a player currently that we could trade for that's realistic that can move the needle. Jimmy Roller said, "Fact, shout out to Jimmy Roller. The Bucks already have uh has the best player, Giannis, a twenty point score, and Chris top five perimeter. Drew is a rim protector. What more do you want? I want score. I want more scoring. Seven Z. You 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 rattled me off these stats, and that was true maybe two years ago, but it wasn't true last year, and it wasn't true the year before that. And Drew talking about he want to retire." Why are we holding on to dude if he want to retire? How serious is he playing? Yes, Giannis is a 20-point-a-game score. Yes, Chris is a good uh, perimeter uh, uh, top five. Uh, Chris top five. I don't know about all that, 7Z. I know what you're trying to say, but I, I can't give Chris that. I can't do it. Robert Brooks said, I'll take a 20-point knucklehead than a 10-point a game. <laughs> Good character guy. I got to get, I got to kind of agree with that. Because coaching should be able to nullify somebody being a knucklehead. Look at uh, how Allen Iverson cleaned up when uh, when uh, Brown became they, the became their coach. Coaching can impact bad character players. So that needs to be taken into consideration as well. And we, we uh, allegedly have a player's coach. So if we do get a couple knuckleheads, hopefully he would be able to straighten them out. Uh, Mr. Cool said point guard is the most needed position. Agreed. I, I can agree with that. And that's why I said Colin Sexton would be able to play the two as well. So that that's I, I think we need to go after Colin Sexton heavily. 7Z said Grayson Allen is only 6'4. I don't want to see him drive at all. Just focus on making threes. And Edwards is like 6'4", too, that's in, in Minnesota. Look what he's doing. As a shooting guard in the NBA 7Z, you need to be able to dribble. You need to be able to finish at the at the, at the rack, sir. 6'4", is, is a more than enough size to be able to finish amongst the trees. And, and Grace has got athleticism. Let's not, let's not use that 7Z. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Let's talk. Grace and Allen has been in dunk contest. Grace and Allen has explosive jumping ability if he would actually use it. I don't want him just to be sitting there shooting three. You're not putting any pressure on the deep. When you're shooting threes, you're letting the defense off the hook. We need to be pressing the defense, trying to get players into foul trouble. 
swinging momentum our way. You're set when you're just shooting threes. You're settling, in my opinion. If it, unless it's wide open, you're settling. You should be trying to be aggressive, taking it to the rack. Put pressure on the defense. Make them foul you. Fouls impact the game tremendously. You get a good player, you get him in foul trouble early, allows your team to go on a run. Never forget that. Uh, Chris B said, Markel Fultz might be the best playmaker, true point guard we can get. He had a good year last year, too. I'm just wondering if he's all there upstairs, though. He did, Chris B, but I, I'm, I'm on edge about his, his uh, mental status. Glitchy Tomato, this is fully hypothetical, but do you think that? Yes, yes, yes. Dame would almost guarantee a championship. Now, Dame, that's the thing. Now, you got somebody like Dame, then that, that changes the perspective as far as like a Grayson or, or a Pat because then they can fit into that role because Dame is so explosive offensively. That's the difference. When you got somebody like Dame's explosion, that's tier one explosion. Dame could go a week scoring 40, 40 points a game for a week. That's the difference. Now you got him and Giannis. You got two people that can pretty much average close to 30 if need be. That impacts the game. That's kind of similar with the Celtics have with Tatum and Brown. Both of them can go for 30. Both of them averaged like 27 last year. So why can't somebody be with Giannis and do that? Brevin Teeter said, Bucks don't have any anything other teams want for a shooting guard. That's what happens when you give up all your draft picks. That's why we got to get creative. Maybe we got to give up 2029, 20, 2030 20, uh, first rounders. We got to do something. If we, especially if we're going to get Colin Sexton, we're going to have to give up something. Chris B said, Dang would be a perfect fit. Absolutely would, Chris B. Absolutely. Uh, contain four feet. The gym Pat donated to is awesome. Yeah, that's all. He's doing great stuff in the community, and I feel that. I get that. I, I really get that. Wes Matthews was involved in the community as well. But are we talking about what's happening in the community or winning basketball games? Because that's two separate things. So that that's all I'm saying. Which uh seven Z said which team has a fifteen point score as its fifth option? I'm not sure, but I would probably say a team like the Clippers would probably have somebody like that. They're fairly deep, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Seven Z, I'm gonna look into that. I'll have an answer for you next live, bro. Gary Foster said, "Really don't want to mess up chemistry with changes that might not be necessary." Sometimes you got to be bold and take chances. I know what you're saying. Well, do you want to just stay pat and then hope for the best or be aggressive and see what you can do? 7Z said Middleton averaged 24 points in this year. If Middleton did that, that game changed. But if you look at Middleton's stats for his career, He's never averaged more than 20 points. I think he averaged 21 one year. He's never averaged more than 21 points a game, and that was many years ago. So, yeah, if he can up his average by four going into the season, that changes everything. I know it doesn't sound like, but when you're averaging 24, that's different than averaging 20. It's just different. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, if he could do that, I just don't think he's capable. But if he could, that would be awesome, 7Z. One shot to win the game on this team who you want shooting? Middleton is clutch. I agree with that. Middleton is clutch. I Drew was clutch at times. So was Giannis. But if you're saying just shoot a straight jumper, I'll probably lean Middleton. I will lean Middleton for sure. Middleton, Middleton hits big shots. I agree with you, Brevin. Gary Foster agrees and said true. No, Middleton hits big shots. Uh, Mr. Cool said, we have to unload one or two of our guards. We have at least five guys at the two. No backup points. Something has to get. Facts. Facts, Mr. Cool. That's what I'm saying. We, got two, we have to make a trade. We have too many people at one position. There's log jams at guard. So we, we're going to make a move. I know we, will, we have to almost. We're going to be forced to. It'll just be what we get. We really need. Colin Sexton would be straight. Uh, Milwaukee Black said, horses on the hot seat because he's a bad negotiator. Facts. 
Saints. He should have traded one less first round pick for Drew and two less second round for Crowder. We could use that now for. Horse has good ideas. Sometimes the, the bad execution, he need to read the fine print. Be, that, that's exactly how I feel. That's exactly how I feel, Milwaukee Black. I know more than you say. Uh, you know uh, your chat lit when Giannis posted it here. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, uh, Giannis said, wonder how no team's talking about Coach Buck. I told y'all. Do y'all remember when people were going in on me about saying it was great to fire Bud? He won a championship. It was injuries. It was this. It was. He's terrible. I've been saying this for years, ladies and gentlemen. Have I not been saying this for years? For the longtime watchers of this channel, have I not been saying for years that Bud was trash? And people going back and forth with me. We want. I said after we won the championship that we should have fired Bud. I'm ill like that. I'm cutthroat like that. I was like, we should fire Bud after we won that championship on the Dwayne Casey side of the game. Like how the Raptors did Dwayne Casey. That's how we should have did Bud. We'd probably be in a better position now had we fired him after the championship. This man ain't even got no job. Y'all telling me about how many wins he had over the last five years. Why don't no other team want to pick him up? Coach Bud. Bud better sit home and, and, and play on his boat, go to his room, close the door, figure it out. Ridiculous. Uh, Tom Christensen, what's good? Uh, you spitting pa facts for sure. I'm just trying to keep it real, bro. <laughs> this is only one. Uh, there's only one basketball. Most teams only have three guys who can create their own shots. Yeah, most teams. Why can't we have more, though? I want us to be in the... 7Z, everything you're saying is, is absolutely valid. I get that. But what I'm saying is, why not just have more? That's what I'm saying, 7Z. I get it. What you're saying is not wrong. What I'm saying is, if you have the opportunity to get more or better talent, why not do that? Yes, this ro I keep saying this roster is going to get you to the playoffs. Probably first, second round. But we're trying to get to the championship. We need to make moves. You need to have more than three scores. You need to be more dynamic to guarantee where you're trying to go. So just because other teams don't do it don't mean we shouldn't do it. I think we should get as many scores as we can. I, I just think it helps us in the long run, especially with injury. It's a long season. The more scores, the better. Contain four feet said Bucks. <laughs> Bud will <laughs> be the next coach for Seattle or Vegas. They ain't about to hire that, man. He'd be... That man with his Neanderthal uh, style of play and logic and lack of adjustment, man, Bud ain't about to be. Bud about to be an assistant somewhere in the big three. That's where he needs to get his mind, right? Uh, Chris B, we keep this team and it's over. Over. Bobby is, got, uh, is, is gone after this year. All of our min, uh, minimum contra uh, contract players gone. If they don't win this year, blow it up. Okay. So you say, okay, so Chris B, you say give him a year, and if it don't work, blow it up. But then that's another year on Giannis's career. Uh, Seven Z said, "Just look at the Nuggets. Only Murray and Jokic can create their own shots. That uh, also uh, Michael Porter Jr. can create his own shot too." Uh, uh, Seven Z, I get your point, but they have better role players as well on the Nuggets. I feel and a little bit more dynamic player like a KCP. Is case KCP is clearly better than Pat Connaughton and Grayson? Correct. Plays defense, can create a shot and shoot. Why can't we have a, a shooting guard that's at least a KCP? That's not asking a lot. We can't have at least a KCP. Just saying. Pat is not a good scorer or defender. Why keep him around? Good community guys. Oh, that was so cool. Bro! He seemed like he got good energy, but you can't dribble. You can't hold defense. Your shooting went down the drain last year. Some cool on Pat. 
Seven Z said I would trade Sexton for Drew. We would need to get more back for for Sexton then. If we give them Drew for Sexton, we would need to get some stuff back, picks and players. But I I I see where you're going, Seven Z. Like I said, Seven Z, we on the same page. It just we're we're in the same we're in the same book, just different chapters right now. I'm trying to get us caught up so we can meet in the middle here, Seven Z. Gibson Nicholas said, "I don't want uh, want the Bucks to go out in the first round of playoffs in 2024. Please make some good moves, please. Yes, yes, that's all we're saying. Strengthen the team. We're not saying blow it up. I'm just saying strengthen the team. Get some more scores. Get a point guard that can actually distribute and facilitate." Drew is not a point guard. He's not. He's a scorer defender. And uh facilitator facilitating is optional. That's facts. That's facts. Jimmy Roller says 7Z, bro. We just got knocked down the first round by the AC. We need to make changes. That's kind of what I'm on. Regardless of injury, that's what I'm on. Contain four feet said, uh, Drew's offensive back ain't where it needs to be for Milwaukee. He's a more back-to-the-basket, slower pace type of guy. That's why I was saying that we need to be more up-tempo if Drew can even play that style of basketball more up-tempo. I think we just, like I said, my, my ideal offense would be playing like Sacramento Kings play. I think that's a fun uh, explosive type of offense to play. I, I like the way the Sacramento Kings play offense. 7Z said, Ant Edwards is a freak of nature. True. I was just, that is fact. But I just wanted to, I just wanted to give you an, an individual because you're saying he's 6'4", like that was a limitation. All I'm saying, there's other 6'4 players out here just getting it in. And I just used the first person that came to my mind was Ant Edwards. You know what I'm saying? Explosive. Chris B said, but Jokic can shoot uh seven. Giannis can't. That does make a difference. That's that's a and he's a much better facilitator than Giannis. Seven Z said Grayson has average athleticism as an NBA player. I, that's fair. That's fair, seven Z. That's fair. Mr. Cool said it's hard to find pure point guards. All these guys focus on score more than playmaking. College coaches are hurting the NBA. By not developing pure point guards. That's a hell of a comment. Mr. And there's a... Yeah. When is the last time... You know what? The, this, let's pivot one second. What is, the, what is the last true point guard that we've seen? Is it really just Tyus Jones from Memphis that we've seen in the NBAs of late? That the last true point guard? I think it's just dude. That Memphis traded. Tyus Jones might be it because Shea Gilgis Alexander is is really a shooting guard. Damn, we do we we don't have any pure facilitators left in the NBA. Damn, that's a fact, Mister Cool. That's unfortunate. Brevin Teeter said Bucks will be shooting a lot more mid range this season. I welcome that with uh I welcome that with uh arms wide open. Absolutely. The three you guys know how I used to beat this table like this because of shooting threes. There were so many games last year where I almost threw my Bucks hat in the arena when I'm looking at the looking at the stat sheet and seeing that we took eighty five shots, right? But thirty eight are threes. Why would that be okay, bud? Why and we don't even have dead eye shooters like that. Why are we taking 38 threes? That's crazy. Anything besides that is an improvement. Gary Foster said, what would you have to give up for Dan? A lot. It would definitely be considered. Definitely Chris or Drew is gone. That's a fact. And then it's probably going to be the 2029 first and probably uh, Grayson or Pat or somebody like that, I would think. Rob Brooks said, we just need a starting guard, regardless if they are a point guard or shooting guard. Impactful guys are needed in Milwaukee. That's that's what I'm saying. Impact players. Facts. Let's pray Coach Griffin will turn the team around and prove all the Bucks haters wrong and all the people who never trust him from day one. I agree. Shout out to you, Gibson. 
Yana said Dame uh, knows only team he would win a chip is Milwaukee, but I don't know if he want to join us. He better want to join. You're a nice guy, Giannis. You score 30 and 10, you have a chip. Why would he want to come win a chip with you? It makes sense to me. And then it doesn't, and then it's not like he running to some big market team to win. You see, he's still, okay, Portland is a small market team, so is the Bucks. So it's not like he's leaving for greener pastures. He's just leaving to play with better talent. And it's still a small market. I think it would work, man. He just got to get over it. But man, Miami is hard to pass up as a player. In Miami, man, I'm not going to even get to no stories about all that. But it's a, it's on a different level for NBA athletes, period, in Miami. Man, listen. Uh, contain four feet. I don't think Giannis is clutched down the stretch. That's not true. Giannis can hit free throws when you need him down the stretch, and he can also hit a jumper down the stretch if he needs to. I, I obviously I trust Middleton more because he's a natural shooter, but I'm not against Giannis taking those shots, and he has to. You're a two time MVP. You can't be scared to take shots. Don't don't be like LeBron and trying to make the smart basketball player have somebody else bail you out. You hey, don't be the accessory commit the crime you hit the shot you get the clutch you do it shout out to Giannis I like that Giannis isn't scared though that's one thing I like about Giannis he doesn't get scared about taking big shots so I like that in his character glitchy tomato said uh Dame is really picky because he wants to be the main main guy but if he decided to take it easy come with us to the east uh the east intro absolutely absolutely bro Jimmy Roller said facts. <clears throat> Contain four feet, of course. Giannis isn't clutch. He missed a ton of free throws and threw the ball away. That The free throws, we can't just keep holding. He's not a good free throw shooter. That's what he needs to be focusing on this offseason. Joseph McBeth said a horse is good at getting fleeced. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he get what he wants, but he get fleeced. Reverend Teter said, Amory, you're right about but Just keeping it real. <laughs> Mr. Cool said, horse goes to church every Sunday. Leave that man alone. I I'll cut him a little bit of slack just for you, Mr. Cool, for the rest of this episode. Next episode, I'm on his helmet again. Again. Dwayne Casey not only didn't win the title, his team got swept, so it's easy to fire him. But he won. But, okay, the reason I use Dwayne Casey is because that year, even though they lost and got swept, he was coach of the year. It, has that ever happened before that a coach of the year got fired? That was the, the significance of using Dwayne Casey. He may had a great accomplishment and still got canned. That's why I use him as an example. I don't know. I don't know if it'll be enough for for uh, a brother to for Sexton to get uh, if Pat Connaughton and Grayson and a first rounder would be enough. I would do that. I feel like giving up Drew or Chris for one of them is a little. That's a, that's a stretch. Uh, Gibson said, "Amber, you're speaking pure facts and 100. Bring it out. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to do it, bro." Uh, Jimmy Roller said, I'm so glad we don't have to just watch teams shoot uncontested three on us all day. Thank you. Yes, that used to be terrible. Romero Hill made it in the chat this year. Salute, bro. Salute, salute. All these uh, stay the same Bucks fans are going to watch Middleton Drew get old and flame out in the playoffs. Then all y'all going to be like, why Giannis go to the Lakers? Right. That's what y'all got to be thinking about. Y'all want Giannis to continue to We need to make moves. I had uh, one member saying uh, Grayson is better than Jalen Green. I think he needs help. How do you guys feel about There's no, There's no question Jalen Green is better. That's not even a – yeah, that's correct. His other activities – but he, he's definitely better than Grayson. 7Z said M, uh, MPJ and uh, KCP are catching shoe guys. They can't create their own shots, though, 7Z. Yes, they can't create their own shots. 
but I, they're not predominantly, they're predominantly catch and shoot, but they have the ability to create their own shot. I don't even see Pat with the ability is the problem. Brevin Teeter said, last year's team without Coach Bud wins the East. That's very possible. It's very possible. MPJ creates his own shot. I agree. I know more than you. I agree. Does he do it all the time? No, but he definitely can create his own shot. Stacy made it in the chat. Shout out to Stacy. I know I'm dreaming here, but do we? Uh, but what do we got to do to get Ben Mathurin? I don't think they let him go. He part of the future. I like him though. That's a great draft pick by the way. Yeah, he he's solid. I know more than you said. Seven Z is Grayson's burner. That's actually funny. Uh, Gibson Nicholas said was an embarrassing loss to the Heat in the playoffs. Still can't get over that loss to this day. Yes, yeah, it still stings. Oh my boy, the truth made it in the chat. Yeah, you're right. That's right. That's right. The truth. That's right. The last true point guard was Lonzo Ball. How many years ago was that though? Mr. Cool said we better say on Ray John Rondo. Nah, he he ain't good for the uh locker room. Uh Tyrese Halliburton is one of those few true. Yeah, that's a good point, Seven Z. I forgot about Tyrese. I think he scores a lot, but he he does facilitate. Uh Curtis Guy and Lonzo Ball. Yeah, I forgot about Lonzo. Mr. Cool said Rondo's done. Yeah, I, I think he done, bro. Let me get through a couple more comments before we get up out of here. Brooke Lopez is stubborn and bullheaded. Shout out to the truth. Contain four feet said the Bucks should revisit Kevin Porter Jr. Hmm. That's not bad. That's not bad. Contain four feet. Uh, the truth said Mr. Cool Westbrook didn't want to sign here. I, I couldn't see him signing here either. Stacy Hanger said, "At hey, Giannis, that uh, that's that let it fly philosophy. Bud poisoned the team with. <laughs> yes, he did. Oh, that let it fly stuff. Oh, I used to be so mad. Oh, it'd be people with wide open layups kicking it out for threes. That's insanity. That's insanity." That's definitely insanity. Let it fly. Yeah, that was that foolishness. Domie the Dragon said, rest in peace, coach's grandson. Yep, R.I.P. Condolences, condolences to Griffin family. Humilidon said, Mr. Cool, Rondo is old, but that's why Mr. Cool like him. Mr. Cool is out of here. Bedtime, good night. Same for me here in a few minutes here. Shout out to the Bucks Nation. Another great live. We go, you know, this topic is gonna continue about this horse to make a move until we see something. I know y'all okay with this roster, and I get it. Like I said, I understand because y'all like coaching was an Achilles heel. We gotta prove coaching, the team gonna play different, but you still wanna acquire as much talent as you can. Why not stack the deck? It's not a bad thing. Why not stack the deck if you can? If you can acquire a talent like Colin Sext, excuse me, or acquire a talent like Dane, why wouldn't you do it? Especially when players talk about they're going to retire, and then you see uh, Middleton got all types of random injuries. He going to slow down, especially over a long season. Then you expect him to step up in the play. Ah, man, y'all asking a lot from Middleton and Drew. <laughs> y'all asking a lot. Y'all see how... Uh, CP3 be playing good during the regular season, fizzle out in the playoffs. That's a Middleton and them that did the last couple of years. It's age sometimes. A lot of a lot of games, a lot of mileage, Olympics, all of that. That's why I'm saying before they just bottom out, get rid of one of them, bro. Especially Drew, just because he want to retire. Come on, man. PJ, yep, Gibson Nicholas, PJ Washington would be an impact. Those that won an MPJ must not have watched the finals. He was horrible, especially for guys making max money. He didn't have his best finals. I agree. I agree. But it's getting a little late out here, y'all. Uh, I'll be doing another live in the next few days. 
But while before I uh while we before I go to this next time, really think about this this roster we have, y'all, and how comfortable y'all are with this being a championship roster. Or would y'all feel more confident with an addition of a Colin Sexton? Or an addition of somebody of that caliber. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want y'all to think about. Not what happened in the past. Because that's over with. That happened before. Now moving forward. Is this a championship team? Yeah, he 38. Uh, what, what is what is uh, Middleton in them? They in their 30s too. It can happen earlier or sooner. I just think one of them need to go. Uh, I prefer Drew go. And we try and get somebody younger, more athletic, and more of a facilitator. That's just my personal opinion. But we're going to have the discussion, 7Z. You know I like going back and forth with you. So does the chat. We're going to continue this conversation. But your boy got to get some rest here. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, share the electrifying content. Make sure you hit that like button before you exit. It's much appreciated. It helps the channel grow. I really appreciate it. Hey, y'all, we getting close to 2,000 subs. I'm going to do it. Hey, 2,000 subs, I'm doing a giveaway for real. Whenever I hit 2,000, y'all let me know. I'm going to do a giveaway. For real, for real, like a bobblehead or something. I got a ton of them joints still in boxes. So uh, I'm going to do a giveaway, I think, uh, once we hit 2,000 subs. We getting close. We about 70 away from getting 2,000. So shout out to Bucks Nation and the prolonged support. And y'all getting these lives and all the great comments and, and going back and forth. It, I really enjoy this uh, chopping it up with y'all. I say this every time because I want y'all to know I thoroughly do enjoy talking about the Bucks, with, especially with the, with the group that we have here and the and the and the and the, the community that we're building on this podcast is really much appreciated, y'all. Salute, salute. So I'm Amra. This is Amra's Logic, Milwaukee Bucks trades, rumors, and news live edition where we're discussing John Horse, if he's on the hot seat, did he give up too much trade capital to acquire Drew and other players in his tenure, and is it hurting us now? And is this roster still good enough in its current form to win a championship? Let's talk about it. We can continue this conversation in the comment section. Comment, like, subscribe. Please share the content. Salute to the chat. Go.